Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Zenzo from Tozawa Tanks. It's been, I feel like it's been a while since I've made a video. It's been a couple of weeks. I haven't been as consistent with video releases as I have in the past. I've just been super busy with a few things, but there are a couple of tanks that I've talked about in relatively recent videos that I thought I would give an update on as people have asked me about them. Um, one of those is the 125 gallon Tanganyikan tank. This is a six foot wide tank. Um, 125 gallons. We've got the uh, the 3D background from Universal Rocks that they sent me for free. Full disclosure, I love it. Everything's going really well in this aquarium. Um, a couple of things. So in the first video that I made about this tank, talking about the fish in there, um, my idea was I was gonna put like a Cyprochromus type fish in there as like a schooling fish. And so far I've decided against that for a couple of reasons. One, there's plenty of activity in this tank. The fish are all over the place as shell dwellers, even though they are a bottom dwelling fish because of their shells, they are kind of adventurous and they will kind of swim up to the top. They'll swim to the top when I feed. When I walk in the room, they think they're getting fed. So they'll kind of swim up here and hang out. Maybe not right now with the lights on or the camera lights. Um, we've got the Julia Chromis in there. We've got the Calvis in there. And so far everything's been harmonious. And I'm very, just very happy with the way this tank is coming along. I'm happy with the way that it looks. And I also don't want to add like a lot of extra work for me. So um, as you guys have known, I've, I've talked about in other videos, I'm trying to make things a little bit easier down here in this fish room. Um, to be honest, I've thought about like, you know, should I start removing tanks and, and paring down what I'm doing? Not that I don't love all my aquariums and my fish, but it just takes a lot of time sometimes and I'm just trying to make things a little bit easier. So um, I think if I just leave the tank the way that it is, I'm super happy with it. I love coming in here and sitting here and just watching these fish and I don't want to add more to them. So we've got uh, jungle val or val scenario growing and it's quite long, probably the tall ones are close to three feet long or so. And I've got some sore plants in there and basically just kind of leaving things alone. There's a little bit of algae growth that's happening on the rocks and on the background, which I like. I've talked about this before. It kind of gives it that natural look. And overall, I'm just really happy with this tank. And that's what I'm kind of aiming for is tanks that I'm happy with the way they are without doing a lot of work. So um, anyway, that's the update on this tank. Super happy with it. I've, I even read a recent comment where someone said it's, it's like their dream setup. So very, very happy. Now, the other tank that I wanted to give an update on is the 60 gallon breeder. So um, I've talked about setting this tank up and kind of why I chose a 60 gallon breeder. Basically, it's a little bit shorter so you guys can see the cool sign. Otherwise, a taller tank would block that. And uh, I am also kind of going easy on a stocking. So I did put uh, two of my Amazon puffers in there, my Peruvian puffers. Um, you might've seen that video where I trimmed the teeth on one. Still doing fine. I actually found a prepared food. It actually likes the uh, Wriggler food from Extreme. Um, so uh, that's kind of good because it's crunchy, but in here, so I do have those two. And what I ended up doing is I ended up bringing some fish from one of my other aquariums. I have a bunch of Sturby Corridora and one other Corridora that I don't know the name of because I had it so many years ago, I forgot what it was. Um, and like Auto Sinkless and stuff like that. So I put those other fish in here. Um, just because a couple of reasons. One, I wanted again to have kind of a lower bio load. I'm still waiting for the plants to kind of take off in here. It's kind of happening slowly. I probably need to change out this inexpensive Phoenix light and put in like the aquarium co-op light on here. But um, uh, the plants still need to kind of catch up a little bit. So I'm waiting for the more for more plant growth. And again, I'm kind of wanting like easier tanks that I enjoy. I like to come in here, see the puffer swim around they'll do the puffer thing and greet me and try to, you know, beg for food. So I usually will drop in, a, you know, a couple snails or something like that in there. Um, and the Corridora, the thing I like about having them in there is that they, before they were in this tank, way in this back corner, which I'll show you here in a second. And I never really saw them because it was just overgrown with plants and the, the tanks kind of tucked away in the corner. So that tank wasn't really ideal for these fish. I couldn't enjoy them. And the stir by corridors are very uh, kind of interesting looking with their kind of brightish orange like fins, I guess, um, and their spot coloration and the fact that they'll kind of chase each other around and swim all around. It's a very fun fish to have. And so 
I put them in here because this is a shallower, wider tank that I'll be able to see their kind of schooling uh, activity or the shoaling activity. Um, and again, it's something that I can sit right here in this chair and just kind of observe them without not seeing them tucked away in that back corner. So that tank we're gonna talk about in a second. It's a whole nother thing. But uh, anyway, everyone in here is doing well. The dental surgery went well so far. Um, th that puffer is eating snails and other hard foods, waiting for the plant growth to take off and the Sturby Corridora, the Auto Sinclis. Um, I actually put some Amano shrimp in there too. The reason why, you would think that the puffers would eat the Amano shrimp. However, the puffers were in that other corner tank before I moved them out not too long ago. And I remember a long time ago, two or three years ago, I put some Amano shrimp in that tank and I forgot about them. And when I was cleaning out the tank and catching fish out, I was catching all these Amano shrimp. And so I just put them right in here and uh, I think they're large enough or they can hide to where the puffers leave them alone. So that's what's going on with this tank. Super happy, low tech, easy to take care of. Now let's talk about the mess. So like I said, it's a mess. So this is uh, kind of like the back corner of the fish room. And this tank is not sitting flush. It's kind of at an angle. Basically, it's the only way that I could fit this tank in here. My wife wanted me to get rid of it upstairs and bring it down here to the fish room. So I kind of made it made it work. It's not an ideal location for a fish tank. Um, it doesn't have like a great viewing angle. So I'm kind of like over here, like having to see the fish and I can't really see it from very many angles other than like when I'm standing here working and at the sink or, you know, feeding fish. So. I took everything out of there. Um, there's just some snails left in there. Uh, did some water changes, removed some plants, put in some new plants. And basically what I'm doing is I'm gonna like do a complete overhaul. So I'm gonna do another big water change, change up the substrate, uh, replant some plants in there. And I'm not 100% sure on what fish is gonna go back there, but I think whatever is gonna go back there is maybe gonna be a fish that's a little bit shy. So maybe I'll do the topaz cichlids that I never see because they're down below in a 40 breeder. So maybe I'll put them in here um, or I'll do a, like a larger fish that's kind of solo that I can easily see and interact with from a little bit further distance than like missing out on smaller fish. So this is kind of like a not a high priority tank. Um, Part of me kind of wants to get rid of it and take it down. And part of me is like, well, it's already up and running and cycled and the whole thing. So let me just do a little bit of maintenance on it, make it look a little bit better than maybe put a fish in there that's better suited for this tank. So as you can tell by my energy, I'm not super excited about working on this tank or anything like that. But you know, this is the reality of keeping aquariums. You know, they're not always gonna be glamorous uh, as you know, maybe you see on social media. There's a lot of times when it's just like a dirty, mucky tank filled with snails and mold and I've got to fix it like you guys have to fix your tank. So that's what's going on with this tank and hopefully in the near future I'll have some up updates to share with you on what's going on in that tank. So hopefully you enjoyed this short little update on a couple of my aquariums just to kind of let you know what's going on. Um, everything is doing well as far as other tanks, the, the 90 gallon peacock tank, the 75 gallon tank, the mud skippers. In fact, in the Indian mud skipper tank way back there, uh, this tank, I actually got some, um, some new Indian mud skippers. Actually, uh, a viewer of the channel happens to live like five minutes from me and uh, sent me an email saying that he had some mud skippers that he had, that he had to rehome because they had to they had a tank situation and they're traveling to Europe. And so I'm like, yeah, I'll take them. So I have two more Indian mudskippers in the uh, Indian mudskipper paludarium. Uh, so they're doing well. Um, but if you want like a full update on this fish room, we'll do one pretty soon. In fact, uh, Corey from Aquarium Co-op is going to be here in a couple of weeks. Um, and I actually saw him last night. We had dinner. And then when he gets back from China in a couple weeks, he's going to hang out here for a day and we'll do some filming. And so we'll do a full update and that way you'll get an update on all the tanks. And hopefully by then I'll have done a couple of changes and fixed a couple of things so the tanks look better. So with that, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Sorry if you've missed a video over the past couple of weeks. We'll catch you on the next one.